conservation had pe some of the local residents in the area so scared they wouldn't come out of their house because they were told the lady was attacked and killed by a bear. Brian Nowen and the other black bear advocates in Pitt Meadows never believed it was a bear that killed Amy Guo in this blueberry field in 2021. For years, neighbors had complained about a pair of vicious Rottweilers that lived on an adjacent property. This week, the coroner's service confirmed what Nawin and the victim's family had been saying, that she died from a dog attack. And even more revealing, that coroner's report says DNA linked her attack to the dogs that lived on that neighboring property, where another person was found dead with animal wounds in January of 2023. Those dogs were then put down, but the cause of death has not been released by the coroner's service. So how were dogs that killed a woman allowed to stay in the neighborhood and then be involved in the death of another person a year and a half later? In Pitt Meadows, the bylaw department is supposed to keep people safe from vicious dogs. The city of Pitt Meadows, though, isn't answering any questions. The city even got their lawyers to send us this letter saying they have no obligation to answer questions from the public or the media. I would never normally put my son in a situation where I thought he was going to be hurt. The issue of how to protect people from vicious dogs was recently front and center after the death of 11-year-old Cash Grist of Asuyus, killed by Cain Corso Mastiffs while visiting his father in Edmonton. Questions have also been raised in that case about a prior record of vicious behavior with those dogs before they killed Grist. We are missing a total of three bears that we know of in the area at that time. As to whether conservation killed any innocent bears in their 2021 response to Amy Guo's death, that's still an open question as well. Conservation has told us they're not ready to answer questions about that. In Pitt Meadows, Paul Johnson, Global News.